Hello, and we're live again this afternoon. Hi, for those of you that don't know me, my name's Nicola, and this is Ivy, and welcome to the Fearless Frogs Creative Crafting Online Workshop. So, today, I thought I would say Happy New Year. Now, you might well be sat there thinking, what is that crazy frog lady going on about? We celebrated New Year's ages ago. What is she going on about? Well, dry. Oh, would you like to bring the frog to come and sit with us? This one is dry. He is dry. Yes, did you get him wet? Yeah, one me biting. Oh, right, okay. You gonna sit there with him? No one. All right. <laughs> okay. Yes, um, I have got Ivy with me today, so apologies if there might be a few interruptions along the way. So, as I was saying then, I said Happy New Year, and that's because today is Happy New Year for the Chinese New Year. Now, it's a bit different because it actually follows the cycles of the moon. <laughs> And so today is actually the Happy New Year Day, but the festivities go on for about 15 or 16 days. So apart from the great fun of having a Chinese takeaway tonight, we can also get involved in the festivities by making our very own musical instrument to help celebrate the Chinese New Year. And I thought you might like to do one too. Okay, now before I forget, <laughs> adults at home that might be watching, I realise I missed something off the list, which was some tape. So if you've got some masking tape or set of tape, it might be quite handy to have to hand. Okay, <laughs> so before we get started, let's talk about this idea of musical instruments. <laughs> Do you know any musical instruments? Do you know any musical instruments, Ivy? Do you? What do you know? Lots of colours. That's right, yeah. So some musical instruments have different colours. Now, my son Lex plays the piano. Do we know what we do when we play a piano? Black and green. We go like this, don't we? Can and we play a piano? And it's the colours is Yeah? Black. Can we do that at home? Yeah, but it's the colours like black, white. Black and white on the keys on the piano. Well done. So we can flex our fingers and play the piano. Now, do we know what a violin is? You might know a violin. You hold it in at the top of your hands up here and you go, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> How about? And I wonder if you could play a guitar. Can we play a guitar? Do, 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 do. <laughs> Ivy just mentioned a drum. Do we? Can we play a drum? Make lots of noise playing a drum. Or sometimes when you play a drum, you might use drumsticks. Do, 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 do. <laughs> That's right. Now we're actually going to be making a drum today, and it's a very special drum because it's a Chinese drum. Shall I get the Chinese drum out to show everybody? Yeah. Yeah? So in my crazy frog lady bag, we have the Chinese drum that we're going to have a go at doing today. Are you going to try and get it out for me, Ivy? Would you like to have a look? Oh, wow, look at this. Now, it's a little bit different, this drum, because you don't play it like that. And you don't play it with sticks. Instead, can I just show everybody, Ivy? You put it between your hands and you go like that. How about... Now, people that are really skillful I wanna do it. make I wanna... it sound much more rhythmical I wanna... than I can. Do but it. we can have a go, can't we? How about... You could tap it like that, couldn't you? <laughs> All right, so would you like to get started with making our Chinese drum? <laughs> yeah. So if you're at home and you're following along, why don't you let me know where you are? You can pop it on the comments and tell me where you are. Or maybe you'd like to tell me what musical instruments you know of and you can tell me about those. You want the other frog? We'll get one more frog down and then we're going to make a start on our activity. Now, while I'm getting that frog down, why don't you pop on your aprons or your old T-shirt so you're ready to start crafting very soon. If I can remember where I put my apron as well. Okay. So there you go, Ivy. Are you going to put your apron on? No, I won't get a froggy bag. You want the froggy first. Let's get the froggy. Mm. Here we are. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to get my apron. 
here we are in case we get a little bit mucky because we're going to do a little bit of painting today as well which is always good fun isn't it yeah so let's pop that on here we go arms in there whoa and arms in there and we're going to roll our sleeves up as well here we go so the first thing we need are some paper plates okay and we're going to need two each so you can start with one there and i've got one here now what we need to try and do why you got two because we're going to need two can you see on the drum we've got two we've got one on that side and one on that side hey i not got one oh Aoife's okay. here ready brilliant hello Aoife Say hello, Aoife. I can't see her. You can't see her, but she's here, look, because she's written a comment to say that she's watching and she's ready. So with your paper plates, we're not going to eat off them. No, we're not going to have our Chinese takeaway off these paper plates, are we? No. We're actually going to turn them upside down and place them down. Okay. So I'm just going to move that one out of the way. I need two. Now. I need two. You're going to have two, so let's put one in front of you as well, ready? So we've got them there, all right? So we're going to place them downwards. And the Chinese believe that red and gold colours are actually really lucky. So a lot of the things at New Year are covered in red and gold. Now, you don't have to use red and gold if you don't have those colours, or perhaps you don't like those colours. That's absolutely fine. You can paint whatever colours you like. Um, so let's get um, our red and gold okay. here. Okay. And which paintbrush would you like to start with? Um, pink one. That one. Okay. And would you like to start with red or gold? You choose. Um, gold. Okay. Well, you start that then. And I'm going to start with the red. And I'm just going to paint my plate any way I want to do and do I'm any do sort of design. Here we go. I'm going to do a big circle in the middle. Here we go. And then I'm going to do some splodges coming out. There we are. There we go. I hope you can all see and are uh, having a good go at doing your painting as well. Here we go. Oh, Aoife's favourite instrument is the drum. That's good. I'm making a cloud. Um, oh, you're doing clouds on yours? Yeah. Here we go. Got lots sun. of splodges. Here we go. Now I'm just going to get my paint cloth. I'm going to wipe the paint on there and I'm going to change colours as well and I'm going to put a bit of gold on mine. Whoa! I Lots have a of, bit. Oops, I need the wrong one. Red and gold going all over my paper plate. I'm not sure how well you can see that today actually. We've got the sun right in our eyes. It's lovely and sunny here in Yorkshire. What's the weather like with you guys? And we just had a little flurry of snow again. Might even get some more. That would be nice. Okay. So I'm putting lots of red and gold all over my paper plate. There we have my first paper plate, all swirly, red and gold. And Ivy's, hers has actually got a little bit orange. I'm just going to put mine out of the way. Do you want to show everybody what yours is looking like so far? There we go. Now we need to do both plates. So once you've finished doing one, you want to get the other plate. Again, make sure that one's facing downwards because remember, we're not eating our Chinese takeaway off it. I'm oh no. Like that. You want to do splodges as well? Yeah? yeah? So turn the plate over, the second plate that you've got. Make sure it's uh, turned upside down. And I'm going to do some splodges on mine as well. I'm just doing this one. Balance. Do you want to do some splodges on the other plate too? Do, 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 do. Lots of big splodges. Here we are. I hope you're having fun doing your splodges or your painting. Here we go. I don't know if you can actually see those there or not. I think I'm out of shot a bit, aren't I? Oh, I need to go forwards. Can't quite tell. Look at mine. <laughs> yeah. I need a bit more. Well, why don't you do some painting on that plate as well? I need a bit more. Okay. Like that. Do you want to put some more on it, yeah? Yeah. Okay. There we are. 
Now this one I've not put as much paint on, but I still kept to my theme of having reds and golds. So you can decide how you want yours to look. So there's my one. And I've done two quite different, aren't they? Okay. Now how's Ivy's coming along? Brilliant. So you keep painting. Don't forget you've got to do the second one as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. So while Ivy's carrying on, I'll show you. Oh, wow, they've been sledging today. Yeah. Auntie Becca and Eva have been out sledging. Fantastic. Excellent. Right, so our next bit that we're going to need to do is to make the bits that are going to swing round and hit the paper plate and make that drumming noise. Yeah? So we're going to need some wool. And we're going to need two pieces of wool. I'll just move that that way, darling. So it's not falling off on you. Let's put those on the tubs, on the, on the tray there, so they don't fall off. There you go. So we need two pieces of wool, probably about the width of one of your plates. So if I just get one of the plates there and show you. Okay, so probably about that sort of width. We can always trim it if it's a little bit long, but it's probably easier to have it slightly longer than we need it. So we're going to need two pieces that length. So I'm going to get my scissors, and you might need to get an adult to help you. There's one, and there's two. Okay, and while Ivy's doing hers, I'm just going to trim and get hers ready as well. While oh, she's busy with her painting, that's beautiful. So I'll make sure we've got a few bits there for Ivy. One, two. Look at mine. Oh, it's beautiful. I want the back. Not the back, if you want to do the other one. So we'll let that one dry for a minute. There's Ivy's first one. She's going to do that next one. There we are. Brilliant. So I've got two pieces of wool for me and two pieces there for Ivy. Okay. Now the next bit is a little bit fiddly. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to thread the end of our string through some beads. Now I've got some red and gold beads sticking with my theme there. I don't know how well you can see. Oops, they're falling out everywhere. You don't have to use red and gold, as I said before. Whatever colours you want to use. You could use wooden beads if you want to. Oh, that's lovely painting, sweetheart. Wow. So I'm for my first one, I'm going to put gold on first. And thread that through. It's a little bit tricky. So you might want to get an adult to help you. And then mine's just come apart a little bit. I'm just going to put that in. You might want to use those little embroidery needles. Or you could put a little bit of uh, masking tape okay. on the end if you want to, to help feed it through. Oh, beautiful. I love it. I want to put gold. Do you want to have a go at doing the gold one? All right, let's pop the paint out of the way for a second. Over there. Oh, my hand. Oh, that's all right. This one's dry. That one's dry. Do you see if you can put that through there and see if you can thread? Have a go. And then I'm going to put a second one on. I'm going to put a gold one on. Sorry, I'm going to put a red one on. Get my colours right. What colours have you chosen, Ethan? Have have you've got red and gold? I want to have red and gold. You're going to have red and gold. Yep. Yeah. Um, so we've got two beads threaded on and we want to keep them in place. So we're just going to make a little knot to hold them there. Okay. Why is that not doing it? Is it struggling to get through? So what we can do is we can put a little bit of tape on to help it feed through. So there you go. I've knotted the two beads. So you can see they're on the end of the string. Okay. So, shall we try and feed this one through? It's a bit of a struggle, isn't it? Because the, the uh, wool comes undone. Do we want another gold or do we want a red one? I lots sure of ones. Let's put a, gold, a red one on the end so they're red and gold. I want lots. Oops. You want lots? Well, we're only going to do a couple on the end. We can do some more beading later. Maybe we'd get some wooden beads out as well. Because we've got some nice wooden beads that we've got for Christmas. Hmm? I want more. Okay. 
Yeah, they're pretty, aren't they? So there's the second one. Again, just two knotted on the end like that. Okay. Now, Ivy, do you want to do your two? Want yeah. to have another go? Yeah? Want to try and feed it through? It might be a bit fiddly. That's it. There you go. It's a bit tricky to do this bit. There we are. And we've got the other one going through. There we are. It's got two beads right on the end. On this one. Oh, we'll do that one as well, shall we? Putting lots on. That's it. And we'll do that one. A bit tricky. I'll help you. I should have got some little needles out. I don't hear that noise. Oh, I think we heard a car playing its music outside. Here we are. There we go. So Ivy's now got two. Two like that. And I've got two. Okay. So now you need to get, once you've got your two strands with your beads on, you now need to get one of your plates. So we'll get the plate that looks probably most dry. Let's have a look. Which one should we use to start with? Um, that one. That one. So we're going to place that down. Face it down with the paint downward. So make sure you've got something covering. Make sure you've got something covering your desk or your table. Okay? Because you can probably get a little bit of paint on if it's not quite dry yet. And I'll get my one as well. And again, I'm going to pop it down onto the table like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to stick down the strings to the edges of the plate. So I don't think the camera's showing it particularly well. But we're just going to stick it down to the edge of the plate on the side there. Okay, so we're going to get our tape. Here we go. There we are. So we're going to tape it down like that. Yeah, and we'll do yours as well, Ives. So that's it. And tape it down to that side. I want to put two on it. We're going to put one on the other side. So immediately opposite on this side, you're going to put the other um, oh, piece of wool on the other one. side of the plate. Look at mine. Yeah, they look good, don't they? And put that on the other side and tape that one down. Do yours as well, shall we? Did you put that there? Yeah. Wow, that's exactly the right place to put it. Well done. Excellent. So we've got them either side. You want to hold yours up so people can see where you've stuck yours? Perfect. All right, and I'm going to stick this one down on this side. All right. Now then, there you go. So we've got our two beads either side of our plate opposite each other. Okay. Now, with the same plate, we now need to add a little stick to go in the middle. So if you remember, it looks like this, doesn't it? So we can do that with it. So we need a little stick to go in the middle. Hey, and we've got a yours. very special stick. There's yeah. yours, and this is mine. That's right. So we're just going to show everybody these. Now, does anybody know what these are? If I show both of them together, I'll give you a big clue. I wonder if you're watching at home, you might know what these are. So you hold them like this. And then you can, I don't know what I can pick up, or pick up some wool. Here we go. Does anybody know what these are for? Yeah? These are chopsticks, and it's what the Chinese use to eat their food. So they don't use knives and forks, they use these. Now we're actually going to use these in our craft. Yeah? So if I can have one, I think. Thank you. Okay, now they've got a slightly narrow end here, and we're going to put the narrow <coughs> end, bless you, <laughs> we're going to put the narrower end in the middle of our plate, so it's like that, okay, so you can see it's lined up with where the two pieces of string are positioned, and then we've got it to the bottom end of our plate, or the top end as it can shown on the video, okay, and we're just going to put some tape securely I across the no. chopstick. To I keep it really mine. nicely in place. Okay. I need mine. And you're going to do yours as well. So if we get you some tape. Let's pop that down for me. 
So yours is going to stick there. If I put it the first one on, and then you can put some more tape on. Okay. So you can see I put some tape on here you can use. So if you take the tape off there, you pull it off like that and stick some more down like that. So stick it down super securely, okay, on the plate. That's it. So those of you at home, parents or adults, see for Ivy have put loads of bits of tape on this little lid ready so it's a bit easier for her to grab it okay that's it like a bed like a bed <laughs> you're putting lots on yeah put in good the bed. i was making the bed no you wouldn't believe i actually tried out this camera before we set up today just to make sure you could see me on the camera and i've still not managed it particularly well but anyway this is what i'm doing i'm sticking on the chopstick from the middle of the plate and making it nice and secure. So if you're watching on replay later on today, I'd love to see who was here. So if you just put hashtag replay or something in the comments, it'd be great to see if you've watched it back after the live and see who came on. Here we go. Oh, you did a great job there. You put lots on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to add a few more to the top, just to make sure it's super, super secure. It's not doing it. Oh, you're doing a super job. I just oh, did it fall on the floor? Doing it. Let's get that one in place. Wow. Don't forget, you've got to put your hand around it, so you'll end up with sticky tape on your hands as well. <laughs> yeah. So you've got to make sure it's super, super secure and doesn't move. Because remember, we're going to be doing it between our hands when we want to use the drum. So it needs to make sure it stays still. Not okay. Nice. Yeah, you've got lots on there, haven't you? I need these ones too. You're going to put those on as well. Wow. Note to mummy, don't put as much masking tape out ready for Ivy to use. Because <laughs> she will use it all. <laughs> okay. So there you can see, I just hold it up again. You see my masking tape all over my stick to keep it nice and secure. Look at mine. Yeah, let's look at yours as well. Hang on, you've stuck yours to the paper. <laughs> Here we go. So, oh, I've just got some tape on the back of hers now as well. So, got lots of masking tape on Ivy's there. Don't worry, we can peel that bit off later. Don't worry. All right. So, we're nearly there. The next thing we're going to need... Puppet is our other plate that we decorated earlier on. Okay, so here's my other one, and here's Ivy's other one. That's it, you pop it on top, and we are going to secure yes, the two plates together. Now, what I would recommend doing put it on top so you've got them, got the colourful side either side, like that. Now, to secure it, and to help also secure the beads in place... I need some glitter. You don't need glitter at the minute. I haven't got any glitter at the moment. We're going to staple just at the same point where... It. Yeah, we're going to staple it down, darling. I'm just explaining it at the moment. So we're going to staple just where the bead is, right on the edge there, to help keep that in place as well. <laughs> yeah, funny. That's Hold right. On. So you can see I'm just going to staple right at the same place and adults you might want to help out the little ones for the first couple of ones I want my bike. here we go Mine's too. okay so that's the first thing i've done is i've stapled where the two beads come out and that helps hold those a bit more securely oh, nice. and then after that you just want to be stapling all the way around I want to have mine. And would you like to have the go? I want to have lots of ways. And you're going to staple it all the way around, keeping it all... I want to have it everywhere. Yeah, you can do some. I'll put yours nice and secure to begin with, and then you can put some extra staples in as well, so they go all the way around I wonder the if edge. get more. I want That's to it. get lots. And let's staple your ones on. I want lots. Oh. I want lots. You want lots, that's fine. So, we're going to put these ones in place here. 
on the edges so they're in place there we go and what I'll do is I just put a couple in to hold it and you can go around and do it and try and do a, a couple as well yeah so this is what you do you put the staple up between either side of the plate and then you're gonna have to use a big push like that okay to push it down so yeah. see if you can try want to put one there I'll hold it in place if you and push might use both hands push 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 oh that's done one hasn't it excellent where should we put the next one um, and here yeah push push that's it you hear that double click didn't it and we're gonna do that side as well push <laughs> okay so try and make sure you do it as securely as possible all the way around I want to look. you do some more see if you can do one on your own on that side okay and then we're about there we've just about finished okay so the next bit is to try it out does it work here we go look at that i'm not doing it you can have a go with yours i can't do it that's fine i'll help so if you have a go at making one I'd love to see what you come up with. So it'd be great if you can post some photos in the comments and let me know how you got on. The other thing as well, I would really, really value any feedback as to what you thought of our craft today or anything you think I might be able to do any better. And also I'd like to go live again next week with it being half term. It'd be nice to get all sorts of different ages involved. So let me know if you've got any ideas of themes that you would like to do or different particular craft activities you like Mommy. doing and I'll see what I can pull together and let your adults know what craft activities and materials we might need. Okay, so let me know what you think. And again, as I say, post your pictures of your um, musical instruments, your Chinese drums, and I hope you have a lovely Chinese New Year. So we're going to say goodbye. Are you Bye. ready, Ivy? Bye. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Mommy.